Hey guys, it's Melissa. Happy Thursday. I hope you are all having a fabulous week. I am bringing back a fan favorite today. This one is one of the most popular <laughs> projects we have ever done on Silhouette School and certainly on Silhouette School Live. So I thought it was worth bringing back because it becomes again super popular around the holidays. Um, and what we are going to do is a little trick that I like to use with wood and that is the lazy crafters way. Okay, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't particularly love paint. It's just, I like my icon art stencil kit. I don't like painting, okay? It's just too messy. I, ah. So what I like to do is actually use printable heat transfer vinyl, printable heat transfer on wood. It is a game changer. And if you haven't tried this yet, you, can, you are not gonna believe how easy this is. So here's the thing, we're gonna make I literally have demoed this so many times. I have one of these left and it's not, I actually already did one on the back last year. I had to dig through my stash. Um, so I have one of these, okay, that we're gonna show. But what I also have is some smaller ones. So I'm gonna show two. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do printable vinyl, printable heat transfer on wood. And you're gonna see how easy this is, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you on this smooth wood and then I'm gonna show you on these little wood slices because it works the same way. All right, so um, the design that we are using, and actually there's two of them. There's this cute little barn farmhouse design, which is adorable on its own, can obviously be scaled to whatever size you want, but it can also be really, really customized. And I'm gonna turn my computer around so you can see, but that design along with what you're gonna see is this adorable um, little truck with a snowman in the back. They are both from, um, they are both from So Fonty's throwback bundle, which is back today, okay? It has 325 SVGs, 32 fonts, all these printable uh, or digital patterns, and it's back today only as a special throwback Thursday as part of our 12 days of Christmas. Okay, so here's what I did, um, if you can see. So what you can see is I have just the black design that came in um, the design itself. Okay. So here's a sample. We're going to go through all of this, but then what I also did is I took a second design and I put that right over it to kind of just, you know, change it up a little bit. And then on these other ones, like this one right here, I, I'll, all I did was I filled with a wood pattern from the fill patterns tool. Okay. This, these two right here, these are patterns that come with Silhouette Studio by default, okay? So if you, um, someone's asking what is my direct number and that I will not be answering because <laughs> I don't offer phone support. Sorry about that, but I'm happy to answer your email, which is melissa at silhouetteschoolblog.com. Um, <laughs> if anyone has my phone number, you shouldn't. Okay, anyway, sorry to pardon the interruption. Um, but anyway, these two are uh, patterns that are in your in your um, Silhouette Studio that come free. You don't have to import them or anything, <clears throat> okay? So I'm gonna show you what those look like when you print too. So all I'm doing, oh, I am living on the edge today, people. I gotta tell you, like I said, I have one of these left. I also had one sheet of printable heat transfer. So I pre-printed it on my printer. It's still actually over there because I was like, if this doesn't go right, uh, I'm gonna be out of luck. Okay, but this is what we're using. It's StarCraft Printable Heat Transfer, okay? And I printed this sheet directly from Silhouette Studio to my printer. So I'm gonna grab that real quick so you can see, okay? So this is how it prints, all right? So I literally just, this is on my inkjet printer. Now you can see, this is how it printed. I sized these. The smaller ones are about two and a half inches because that's about the size of these. The larger one is sized to fit on here. So it's about three and a half inches, okay? All right, so all you're gonna do next is cut these apart, okay? So you are actually not using your Silhouette Cameo at all for this. You're using the software, all right? And again, if you're just joining, these designs are from the January of 2020 bundle from Sofancy, which is back today only as part of a special throwback, <clears throat> excuse me, throwback Thursday. All right, and I, I linked to that up top. Okay, so I'm just trimming these, cutting these apart. I'm gonna do a couple different ones. So as you can see, this one, I put the adorable little snowman. This is two different designs together. This is the original design. Looks like this, okay? 
You can obviously do multiple at the same time. Both of the designs though, the truck with the snowman and the barn are all in the January bundle, okay? And then I did a couple of other things. This one, instead of just being the solid black, I made it look like wood, okay, wood grain. Wait until you see what that looks like when you put it on the wood, it's so cool. Actually, this is a different one that I did. See, it has the wood, it's faux wood grain, so you're printing the wood. This design is not in that bundle, that's from something else. Okay, and then you can do, like this one I did, it says established and it has the year. You could customize it with a name. You could customize it, you know, with the year, the whatever you want. All right, so we'll just do a couple of these. Now the key here is that you wanna make sure that you have your heat press to 375 for 15 seconds, okay? You wanna use light pressure. If you use high or, or even medium pressure, what ends up happening, especially when you have um, the wood slices, is the ink bleeds into the grain of the wood and you don't get crisp lines. So our goal is to get crisp lines. So you want 15 seconds, 375, light pressure. Light pressure, if you haven't seen how I test the pressure here, you wanna be able to basically open and close with one hand, okay? All right, that's light pressure. Now. These are actually obviously different thicknesses, so I'm not gonna do them both at the same time. The other thing is you need to work quickly on this, okay? As soon as the 15 seconds is up, you need to peel this off. Otherwise, the uh, heat transfer, printable heat transfer will get stuck on there and you'll have a mess. Is it, my eye is twitching. Do you guys get that? Holy eye, oh my gosh. I know you can't see it, but it is really bothering me, so I just need to point it out. Okay. Um, okay, so let's try this. So what we're gonna do, like I said, where's my, I have two chances on the big one here. <laughs> oh man, I love it when I live on the edge like this. All right, so we're gonna take this, and as I said, it's going to fit perfectly on here because I sized it that way, so you can see it's perfectly on there. I'm going to use a little bit of tape. Now this one has something on the back. If you're just joining, it's because I didn't, I don't have any extra. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of heat, high heat tape to keep this in place while I press. You don't want it moving around, especially because we want it to fit perfectly on our circle. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So the HTV, the printable HTV needs to be up so that it's hitting the top platen of your heat press, okay? And then the wood piece is gonna be on the bottom. Now this one has, like I said, it has something on it already, so I need to get just a plain piece of paper. I'm just gonna, this is just copy paper. I literally just took it out of the trash. I'm putting this on the bottom of my heat press to protect it, okay? So 375, 15 seconds. I'm gonna work really quickly here, and I'm gonna show you how this goes. Again, remember, light, pressure here let's see if i can pull you any closer so you can watch a little better okay all right here we go and then we'll do the wood grain um there are the wood slices after so this is set to 30 seconds i'm only going to do 15 um i'll stop it obviously and then we'll do once that's done i'll show you how to do these these have a hole in them already um the the one that i'm doing right now it has is shaped like an ornament okay so working very quickly Peel, 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 Is that not adorable? So awesome. Right there, no painting. I'm in love. I love that I don't have to paint. I love that I don't have to cut a stencil. I love that I can customize it. I can put two different designs. So fun. Okay, so let's back you up. You are right, really close to me right now. All right, now let's do a couple more. This time we're gonna use these smaller ones. It's moments like that when the people on YouTube, they, cause these Facebook Lives go to YouTube after and they're always like, stop with the coffee. You're too caffeinated, calm down. I'm just having fun. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. So this is one that I printed with the wood grain. So I'm gonna just get these all ready here. I'll pop you down here so you can see. All right, I'm gonna line that up and just a couple quick pieces of tape. Now again, you can you have the option to do a couple of these at a time, 
but I just want to tell you, I'm going to put this here so you can see what we're doing. Um, I do just want to mention that if you choose to do a couple at a, at a time, you're just going to want to make sure that you um, have the ability to work quickly enough to peel that paper off within a matter of seconds after it's done. Okay. And the tape makes it a little bit more challenging, but you need to get that tape on there, especially when you're trying to hit this small of a target. Okay. All right. So let's see. So we got those. So remember, these are going to go on the heat press like that. That's the one we already did. Um, this is just, these are, these other ones are these, um, here, let's do the one with the black with the established date. So you can see that. Okay. That one is kind of, these wood grain slices, you guys know how they are. They're not all exactly, which I think kind of gives them, that one's not even going to fit on there. Here, this should fit, hopefully. Okay. All right. Obviously, you want to make sure that this, okay. But this piece of tape isn't cooperating with me very well. All right. Let's see if I can get three, do three of them at a time. We'll see. All right. Oop, this way. And this way, I'm really living on the edge today. Okay, as we mentioned, 15 seconds, 375, light pressure, okay? And then boom, 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 we're gonna work real quick to get the, oh, where are you? To get it, um, to peel that heat transfer off. If you're just joining both the little um, truck design and the barn, that's two different designs that we merged together, those are both from So Fancy today. Here, I'll show them to you in just a second. I just need to peel it off of there so that it doesn't get stuck. Okay, cool. All right, so we peeled them all up. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so here we go. This is one with the wood grain. Look at that. When I filled the design in Silhouette Studio with the wood grain as opposed to solid black. Okay, so you can get two different looks with how it comes in. And then obviously this one, here's one, here's a good example of it didn't peel it fast enough. And this is kind of what happened. I, I missed some. I mean, it's I think it's fine, but just so you guys know. All right, so here's the larger size of that. All right, I have a couple more. So if you want to stick around, we'll do a couple more. I threw the link to the January bundle where you can get these designs up there. And um, I know you're going to ask me for links to where the other stuff is. I was literally in a rush. So I will try to throw the links up for those as well. Or if one of my girls is on, I'm sure they'll put the links in the comments for the heat press you're probably asking for or where to get the, the printable heat transfer. Um, I, I know all the questions that you ask. Oh, someone had an idea to just do a double-sided, so maybe we'll try that. Okay, so this one has this on this side. We'll try this on the back. Now, again, if you're gonna put something on the back when you press it, you are gonna wanna put a piece of copy paper or something to protect the bottom of your um, platen. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not, but we'll try it. I get a lot of questions about, does this work? How's this work? Can I do this? And I, this is what I tell people, just try it. Just try it. What, what is the harm, literally? I mean, if you're gonna, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell someone just try to cut a, you know, 36 inch, um, where's my other one? Go ahead and one more, okay. Well, I wouldn't tell somebody to cut a 36 inch piece of vinyl just to try it. I would suggest it on a smaller scale. So maybe print one of these at a time. But um, I just try stuff, honestly. And then I refine it and make sure it works. And then I tell you how to do it. Okay, so 15 seconds, let's do a couple more. Look, these are so fast and easy. Here's another one that I did last year. Look at that. That would take you forever to paint or HTV. But this is so quick, I love it. You customize them. Peel, peel, peel. Let's peel these off fast. We gotta work quickly. Okay. Let's get this off there so you can see. All right, and then we can just use a little piece of twine or ribbon. Let's do that. And finish up these ornaments. They are so cute. We've got a whole set of them. Um just I think this would look adorable and I don't have any offhand, but if you had like red and white, um, I mean red and black uh, plaid 
uh, ribbon would look so cute on these. That's a double-sided one we've got there. How cute! Is that adorable? If you have a little shop or something, or if you want to use these as gift tags, I think these would be so, so cute and add a really fun addition to a tree, a gift, a bag of wine, a bottle of wine. Anyway. All right, you guys. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Don't forget, if you're interested in those designs, grab it from the January bundle, which is back today. I will throw the links to the heat press, to the printer, which I know you'll ask about. It's like eight years old, but I'll tell you, it's just an inkjet. Um, and I'll link to the Starcraft Light printable uh, so you can get that as well, okay? All right, you guys, have a good one. I'll see you soon.